Hello everyone, welcome back. So before we get into today's video, here's a quick roundup of this week's fragrance community news. First, Chad from the channel A Gentleman's Journey has told of his anguish after an allergic reaction to fragrances caused his hand to swell up to twice the size of his head. Next, after closing down his Patreon page recently, Jeremy Fragrances said he's very happy with his new part-time job in a fish canning factory near Cologne. And finally, perfumer Roger Dove has warned of the dangers of superglue after admitting that his right hand has been glued to his face for the past two years after an accident that occurred when he was making a model aeroplane. Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about two fragrances that I've really wanted to mention on my channel for a long time. Uh, I have mentioned them maybe a tiny bit in the past, but it's time to do a full review and comparison. So uh, it's going to be Pico Viadama from the house of Zerzhov, and we're going to be comparing Dua Fragrances version of that one, which is called Queen of Spades. So let's talk about the original Zerzhov fragrance first. So this one was first released in 2015, the perfumer Chris Maurice. I think originally it was only available in Russia, and I think only in certain airports could you buy it. Uh, another prohibitive factor was the price. Uh, now I found it listed, it is now a little bit more widely available but still not very easy to find and try in your stores. But you can uh, now pick this one up online. Uh, one place I found had a 100ml bottle for $690 or a 50ml bottle was $460. So very, very expensive. And that's where people like Dua Fragrances come in uh, because they've given us a 30ml hit bottle here of their version of this one and that's just 60 so although it's not a really, really cheap price for 30 mil, uh, it's much more affordable and something uh, many of us could consider buying if we think it's uh, the kind of smell we would like. So let's find out about the smell on this one. It was uh, the name Pico Viadama, by the way, it means Queen of Spades. And it was the title of a Russian novel by Alexander Pushkin, the famous Russian writer, which was first published in 1834. So that was the inspiration for the original Zerzhov fragrance. The top notes are bergamot, lemon, neroli, rose, and aldehydes. In the mid, we have coriander, cedar, iris, incense, and nutmeg. And in the base, it's uh, patchouli, sandalwood, musk, and vanilla. And of course, it's the same note listing exactly for uh, Dua's Queen of Spades. So, uh, Zerzhov Pico Viadama and the, the Dua fragrance both really, really capture my imagination because it's this kind of old fashioned, soapy, musky smell. A little bit of a barbershop, maybe even shaving foam kind of smell in there. But also there's this crucial thing of the aldehydes, most famous fragrance with those in uh, and where they're featured really heavily is Chanel Number no. 5, a real classic old female fragrance. So a weird mix really of a, of a kind of smell that we sometimes associate with older, mostly feminine fragrances. And then there's definitely this soapy, musky, shaving foam kind of vibe about this fragrance as well. It's really kind of a complex, rich smell. It does open with a nice burst of citrus, the bergamot and neroli are in there. There's definitely floral elements within the fragrance. There is some rose in it. Uh, and as it goes on though, you, what you, you get it really is overwhelmingly, the word that keeps springing to, to mind is, or the two words I think, are soapy and musky. And the muskiness in this one, sometimes we talk about a sort of a clean white musk smell and sometimes we talk more about an animalic, slightly more funky version of musk. And this kind of has a bit of both, I think. There is that clean, crisp, uh, freshly laundered sheets kind of element in there, but also a slight hint of something sensuous or even sexy or sexual in the muskiness underlying this fragrance, which I think is why so many people uh, in review Views on Fragrantica and base notes about Pico Viadama. I've talked about it having a really, really magical quality, something really enigmatic, charismatic about the fragrance. So, um, comparing the two versions, then in the opening, I detect a little bit of difference when I first spray, something a little bit more rich and juicy in the original Pico Viadama. But as is so often the case with the Dua ones, after a few minutes, certainly after half an hour or so on paper and on skin, very, very difficult to tell them apart at all. I, I really can't tell much difference and if I'm blind some you know if I pick up the two paper strips and confuse myself and close my eyes I, I don't really know which one's which so it's the usual story that it may be in the opening and just just somewhere there's a tiny difference but essentially uh, it just smells exactly the same when you wear the Dua fragrance to to Pico Viadama which is great news because 
the price is a lot better. So for me, the, one of the reasons I'm most excited about this one from Dura is rather than being a, a, a copy of Creed Aventus, it's more exciting to me sometimes when they do these really hard to find, super expensive ones, which most of us just couldn't consider owning. I certainly won't be buying a bottle. And even if you can pick up a little small decant of 10 mil or something, you know, the people are charging an awful lot of money for those, so you're not gonna be able to use it and enjoy it the way that you might like to. So Queen of Spades, really, really nice performance. It's soapy, musky, spicy. There is some incense in there as well. So it's sort of a, a bar of soap, but a very perfumey, uh, rich, exotic, sexy kind of bar of soap. The kind of bar of soap a very rich Russian person might be using, or the par kind of perfume, uh, and it was of course, launched originally in Russia with a Russian name. Maybe that these some of these Russian oligarchs or incredibly wealthy people might you might expect them to smell like. It seems like it, it smells like money. It smells kind of classy uh, and it smells kind of old-fashioned as well, which I guess is probably why it appeals to me. I like my old fougeres and my soapy barbershop uh, scent. So it's got this real mixture of a, a kind of high-end niche quality feel about it. Something a little bit nostalgic, a certain masculinity with the barbershop-y shaving foam clean musky soapy type of smell but also just this hint of a female perfume in there as well with the florals and these kind of fizzy bright aldehyde notes that we had in originally in Chanel number no. five uh, that, that I associate more with classic female perfumer, perfumery so they kind of melded that with the shaving foamy kind of smell and give us something that men or women can wear I think it's great to wear in nighttime colder seasons it's got real great strong perf performance on both versions more or less equal to me in performance very very strong I'll say just short of beast mode not quite beast mode but very good performing uh, both at the Dua Queen of Spades and the original Peak of Ayodama and um, yeah an appropriate smell really for all kinds of different situations maybe for an everyday work wearer just be careful how much you spray uh, because it does have a little bit of a, a perfumey I'm wearing something, I'm fragranced kind of smell. There's enough richness in there that it's just not, it's not a transparent, clean, soapy smell. Uh, but it's, so therefore it has enough excitement for a, a date situation or a night out. Uh, and if, yeah, for me, I think right down the middle is a unisex fragrance for a man or for a woman. And maybe one of those ones that if you do spray it on a man's skin, it's going to come through a little bit of a more of a masculine smell, going to enhance his sense of masculinity. But for a woman, those the uh, floral notes, the aldehydes are there enough that it smells like a really classy female high-end niche fragrance. So Queen of Spades by Dua Fragrances gives us the opportunity to, to smell like this one and own, well not own the actual fragrance, but have access to a really, really amazing niche smell nice all-rounder but with something rather exciting and classy and different about the smell uh, and, and that gives us that chance to get that smell for those including myself who cannot really contemplate 50 mils for 460 dollars or that kind of money that's just too much and even if you can pick up a small decant it's not going to last you that long here you can get 60 dollars or 45 pounds roughly equivalent uh, and you get your 30 mil i think that's reasonably good value uh, of course you might have to take a bit of a chance and blind buy if you haven't had this the opportunity to sample pika viadama so you've got to be interested enough in that fragrance to take a chance i can say that do as queen of spades will smell pretty much indistinguishable to the real thing so uh, rest assured that if you smell this you're pretty much going to be experiencing the Pico via Dharma experience and I think that's a great thing that do are doing here it's good I think when they do these really really high-end really expensive hard to find fragrances and make those accessible to the rest of us for a not super cheap price you know 30 mil 60 dollars it's not a real, real um, bargain bin type of fragrance. It's not like an Armaf or one of those brands where you can buy 100 mils for 20 something dollars. So you do have to bear that in mind and you have to buy in to the whole idea of what Dua fragrances do. The packaging is quite nice there, but again, simple and fairly basic. The sprayer is fine, but it's nothing amazing. And the lid and all that is just sort of basic. I know they're gonna be upgrading their bottles apparently soon. The uh, perfume, of course, was sent to me free for review. I don't give you a full review on everything that Dua send me, and I don't go raving about everything that they send, but in this case, it's captured my imagination. If you like soapy, musky fragrances with a little bit of a retro vibe, Queen of Spade by Dua, well worth checking out. And if you have uh, loads and loads of money, of course, so it's Pico Viadama 
from Zershoff. So let me know what you thought about this video or either of these two fragrances. Have you tried them? Are you lucky enough to have tried both? How do you think they compare? Please let me know in the comments below. As ever, thanks very much for watching. Whatever you're doing in life, let's project.